Okay, I'm like really overheating right now, but hello everybody, this is Maddie, and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell. It would mean a lot to me. And then also make sure to follow my two Instagrams, my beauty one, which is Modified Makeup by Mad, and then my personal one, which is Madeline McBride underscore, and please make sure to check out my bir- my birch. Please make sure to check out my birch tree. Please make sure to check out my merch. It's in the description below, and here's the, uh, the link to it. It's on Teespring. This is a very late video, because I don't know if you could tell by my hair, but I'm having a crisis, a mental crisis, if you will, a mysis, and I dyed my hair purple because of it. Um, my roots have a purple tint to it, so I'm gonna wait a couple of days before I wash my hair again so it doesn't all come out. Um, so it's your girl purple root. I'm like a, a purple potato. You've ever seen those? Back to what I was saying this video is late because yeah it's just been really tough for me honestly I'm not gonna lie to you guys no cap and I also forgot to grab something so one second holy hell I'm back and what a trip that was how to get my face spatula because today everybody we are doing my January ipsy ultra plus bag or is it just the plus unboxing and review I suppose we should just get right into it like I said this is not gonna come out in January this is gonna come out somewhere in February so uh, this is what the bag looks like but it's a dream you know because January 2021, dream it. New month, new year, and the sky's the limit. When you start small, a trim here, a bold lip there, your grandest glow goals will be within reach. Oh, beauty resolutions for your sign, bro. I'm an astrology bitch. Check out the fucking tapestry. I know exact, this is gonna be for me. I'm a Leo, um, if you guys were wondering. So nothing will dull your shine. Consider highlighter your holy grail, bro. That's a little basic, Ipsy, okay? What else we got? Come on. Anyways, we're gonna have a sip of the venti cold brew with one pump of classic with vanilla sweet foam on top. So we know how these videos go. I'm gonna speed through all the other steps and I will not be speeding through it when I'm trying a new product and I'm gonna review it. Um, so a lot of it is just kind of self-care stuff. It's not really a lot of makeup. So I'm gonna do my makeup kind of how I would do it if I was having a chill day or I didn't really feel like spending all the time in the day doing my makeup. So this is gonna be like a soft look, you know? It's not gonna be anything crazy. Yeah, if I have like hair dye, oh my God. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Busted. The first thing I got from this month's bag is the Billion Dollar Brows, the best brow toolkit ever. That's pretty fucking ballsy because I have um, really good brow stuff. Um, I have the Anastasia eyebrow brush. I don't really care about spoolies. I already have really good tweezers that I like really stand by. And maybe the scissors will be good. My scissors are kind of like eh. But we'll get into it, so. The eyebrow brush has bamboo charcoal infused bristles, vegan and cruelty free, go you. So we have the eyebrow brush. So the thing I really look for is a nice thin brush. And this one it does have that, which is nice. I'm not doing my eyebrows today. So you're like, Maddie, I thought this was a review, bitch. I'm sorry. Um, it's just not gonna go with the whole look I have planned. But the spoolie feels very nice. This brush feels super nice. But I will try the other stuff. I'm sure the brush is fine. But just for what I want to do today's sake, I'm not going to try it. Um, but then we also have the tweezers, which, like I said, the tweezers I have currently are banger. It's these little tiny like skinny ones. It's kind of like ingrown hair tweezers, but I like it because they're very precise These are like the chonky tweezers like the type of tweezers you think of when you're like, oh tweezers, bro Those are tweezers. Let's see if it can grip my tiny fine ass hairs I have like I have one sticking out right here. Yes, I did who would have thought but yeah I don't know really how you would review tweezers. They either work or they don't you know what I mean But then actually I will use the spoolie brush to try to trim my brows. So these are the scissors, which are very sharp. You know scissors are good when you hear like the metal scraping against each other. That's when you know it's like a, like a, a good cut. You know? 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use the spoolie to brush my eyebrows hair up. You can't really rate a spoolie. It either just acts like a spoolie or it doesn't. Rate, review, whatever. You can't, it's hard to describe the dexterity of a spoolie, you know? But let's try these scissors. These are very nice because my other ones are what we would call old. So I really like these. These are definitely gonna be replacing the ones I have now. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. It actually feels pretty high quality. I expect whenever you get these like brow kits, you know, sometimes like you see them at Dollar General and they're a little cheap. You can't really tell the difference, but I could just feel it with using it. It's really nice. So the next thing we have from Little Miss Ipsy Bag is Florence by Mills Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. I love peel off masks. They are so much fun. They really just give me the feel good chemicals in my brain. Um, we keep it clean um, for all skin types. Dermatologist tested, cruelty free and vegan. This iridescent purple peel off mask helps reset our skin after a tiring week. Holy shit girl do I got a tiring week. Look at me. Purifying charcoal draws out dirt and oil while witch hazel and lavender oil keeps skin cute and happy. Just wait until you peel it off. How to use. Apply thick, even layer to the entire face, avoiding eyes. Try to avoid your hair because it can get sticky. Wait 20 to 30 minutes for the mask to dry and then start at the edges to peel it off. Look in the mirror and snap a pic. 20 to 30 minutes, bitch. I don't got all day. All right, y'all. So we're definitely gonna have to take a break from the camera because holy shit, this takes a long time. But this packaging is super cute. I like the matte lavender type of lid. Holy shit, she is thick. And it's like a rose color. I expected it to be kind of like purple. Smells like a really fancy spa, which is good. Whenever you get that one face mask that smells like Starburst or some shit, you're like, I don't know about this one, boys. Um, so we're gonna get my uh, Freeman little mask applier thing. It's yellow because I use a turmeric mask all the time. And we're gonna apply this to my face and it says be careful because it's sticky. Should I put my hair back? Probably. So we're gonna grab a little hair tie because I just got fucking, I just, I, I almost said I just got my hair done. No girl, you did your own hair clearly. And we're gonna take this and it says it's sticky bro. And then I'll set a timer for 20 minutes. If it's still sticky, another like 10 minutes. And then we'll peel it off together as a family and it'll be a lot of fun. But let's try putting this on. It's like mega thick, but she do be feeling nice though. There's a lot of work this is gonna have to do, man. This shit is like wax. It's so thick. You know, make sure you grab your face masks, everybody, and we could put them on together. Have a little ladies night, even if you're not a lady. Let's have just like a friends night. Quarantine spa night. I suppose we could uh, end it right here and I will return to peel this off. I'll be back in a second for you guys, uh, 30 minutes for me. Everybody, I'm back and better than ever. Um, while I was waiting for this to, wow. While I was waiting for this to do its thing, I found out Jojo Siwa came out. Congrats, bitch. We love more people in the gay community. This feels so nice, bro. And it comes off so freaking easily, bro. Feeling all fresh and fancy now. Next thing um, we're gonna use is another new product. So it's the Perlice um, Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. I think I might already have this. I don't know, but it's for oily combination, normal, even sensitive skin, bro. That's everybody, dude. Um, hydrates and balances, prevents fine lines and preps skin from makeup. Sweet. We're just gonna get a little bit of this and put it all over my face. So I'm just gonna get like a little like pea size amount. It's kind of hard for me to re review moisturizers because it's just like depends on like how it sits on my face in the long run, you know? You want to know what I don't like moisturizers that um kind of like immediately soak into your skin and then you just go back to feeling dry. And this one doesn't feel like it does that, which is nice. Okay, well, I'm going to quickly prime my skin and then we'll use another new product. So I'm gonna do that. So yeah, like I said, this makeup look is pretty much like what I do in the winter time when I just want like low-key makeup just to look cute, you know? Um, but like nothing too crazy. I put on a lot of hydrating stuff as you can see because I get so dry in the winter time. It's terrible. Oh, fucking. What was that? But now we have another new product. So this is by Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed skin. A minty lip fix with glacial water. Hmm. Okay. Is it from the melting glaciers from global warming? Who knows? 
Don't let the delicate skin on your lips get destroyed by the stressors of everyday life. From blazing sun and zero humidity to blustery cold, bad habits, achieving and maintaining soft, supple and healthy looking lips is a constant battle. Minty Lip Fix is an ultra moisturizing balm that rapidly melts into a silky serum eradicating dry, peeling lips on contact. Apply to a clean, makeup free lips after applying plumping lip gels to enhance their benefits. I don't got that, but okay. Uh, it can also be applied on its own or for an instant boost of hydration. Okay, well, hopefully this really helps because like no cap, um, my lips are very problematic. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Cute little packaging. Okay, so it should be minty. I love minty lip balms. Why isn't it coming out? Hello? Oh, it's like super thick, bro. Okay. Oh, it's like very dentisty. It's not like a sweet mint. The mint is very, uh, <laughs> like Colgate mint. <laughs> not bashing if that's your thing, but feels nice. Oh, uh, real quick, I'm just gonna put a little bit of like concealer on like usually around my eyes because my eyes are really sunken in, dark. Should probably get more sleep and drink more water, but you know, that's the problem for another day. So I know I said uh, I was just gonna put concealer around my eyes, but then I kind of get the excess off the brush and put it on the rest of my face. Another new product to try, and I believe this is my last one. Um, this is the Ofra Bossy Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow in Penthouse. Say hello CEO and bye to creasing in this lightweight formula that will blend seamlessly and set quickly. Using an applicator to apply the lids and with your finger or shadow brush blend in. Can be worn over eyeshadow or under a base or over a bare lid okay cool that's kind of what i was going for um so liquid eyeshadows they uh they can be a little tricky so what i plan to do is go one eye at a time because i don't know how fast this sets and it's like a pretty um how would you do like a champagne color um and i'm going to just dab it on my eyelid then just like pat it in with my finger Oh, this is like really cute. Okay, this just like gives it like a little shimmer. I really like this, honestly, like not even kidding. No, it's like just low key enough that it looks super pretty. I really love that a lot, actually. I didn't I didn't know what I was gonna think about it. So I'm gonna add a couple other finishing touches and then I'll come back just to like kind of make myself look a little more alive because clearly this isn't a finished makeup look. And I will give my final thoughts on all the products that I used. All right, guys, I think we are at the end. I'm sorry, I don't know when it cut off. But anyways, I was just reviewing everything, saying I've used the moisturizer before. I really like the peel off mask. The lip thing is really nice. It really is making my lips feel amazing. And what I was gonna get to is the little eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. It's not really showing up well on camera just because of the color of it and it's like really close to my skin tone. But in person, dude, it's really pretty, like really pretty. And I'm definitely gonna be using it all the time now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's just a quick little makeup. Cause minus all the self care stuff, this took like five minutes. I'm gonna go now. I will see you guys next week with a new video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you guys then, bye guys.